bum 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 hey everybody last outrider here with the next black legion video this time fortress of spite the first fortress abaddon moved against was designated blackstone 4 by the imperium and it guarded the rebo system extensively adapted by the adeptus mechanicus the fortress was a fearsome edifice of imperial power and had never fallen in battle. With overwhelming force, the Black Legion fleet attacked the Rebo system, scattering the defenders and leaving a trail of burning hulks in their wake. As the fleet closed with Blackstone 4, it suffered a sudden, massive power loss its guns falling silent, and its launch bays refusing to open. Already, Abaddon was proving his mastery over the fortresses and revealing the first hints of the secret knowledge he possessed. Unable to halt the encroaching Chaos ships, the Imperial forces readied themselves to be boarded, creating hasty defenses at the station's void locks and hull doors. The nervous defenders did not have to wait long, for the first Black Legion space marines blasted their way aboard through a shower of smoke and debris, bolter rounds tearing bodies apart in sprays of blood and viscera. Falling back from one defensive position to another, the Imperial soldiers fought a desperate rearguard action. The Black Legion were soon swarming throughout the station. And by the time Abaddon strode onto its control chamber, only the Imperial commander remained alive. Stepping over the fallen bodies of guardsmen, the War Master impaled the officer on the Talon of Horus, displaying his corpse to the Legion, the Blackstone Fortress was his. Awakening the ancient fortress, the Black Legion fleet then traveled to an Adeptus Mechanicus weapons testing moon in the Lucertar system. This was to be the Imperium's first taste of the unimaginable firepower of the fortress. From a distance of several million miles, thought to be well beyond effective weapons range, the Blackstone Fortress unleashed a bolt of pure warp energy that carved through the Mechanicus Moon. Those Imperial vessels in the system could only retreat before such a destructive weapon. In the nearby Bringnaga system, Abaddon struck a second fortress, designated Blackstone Six. Those ships that had witnessed the carnage at Lukitar arrived only hours before the Black Legion fleet and could do little, as once again Abaddon robbed it of power and boarded it with his traitor marines. The next blow was to come in the Phalaris system, where Blackstone I orbited the second world as it circled a shimmering blue star. Even though the Imperial soldiers were prepared for an assault this time, the combined power of the two Blackstone fortresses were more than any ship could stand against, and vessel after vessel was torn asunder by the raw, unleashed power of the warp. Abaddon personally led the assault onto Blackstone I, his Black Legion swiftly turning it into a tomb of dismembered limbs and mangled bodies. Armed with three of the Blackstone fortresses, Abaddon next moved to the Tarantis system, a major imperial marshalling station on the edge of the Tamhal sector. Crushing all resistance with ease, he combined the eldritch energies of the Blackstone Fortresses to fire a massive warp bolt into the heart of the Tarantis Star. 
as quickly as they had appeared. The Blackstone, the Black Legion fleet, then vanished back into the warp. The doomed Imperial worlds could only watch as their star boiled and writhed, racked with vast arcs of black fire. Within hours, the star had swelled to consume the innermost planets before finally collapsing in on itself and going supernova, wiping away the Tarantis system forever. The final chapter of Abaddon's Twelfth Black Crusade was to be played out in the Schindelgeist system as he tried to capture Blackstone V. For once, the War Master was outflanked, and his fleet brought to battle between a vast Imperial Armada and an agile Eldar warhost. It was clear to Abaddon that this engagement would not favor his armada, and using the ships of their allied legions to cover their retreat, the Black Legion fell back towards the Eye of Terror. Nonetheless, they managed to take two of the deadly Blackstone fortresses with them. And that concludes the Twelfth Black Crusade. Next time, the 13th Black Crusade, which will bring us up to the end of the 41st millennium. And as I've told people before, 40K has never had a future. 40K begins on the last day of the last century of the 41st millennium, during the, Black, the 13th Black Crusade, which we shall find out now how that plays out. Until next time, bye.